up friends welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video i haven't even started baking yet and i've already messed up so here's the thing i have the day off i was responsible and went to the dentist this morning upon which i found out i had the smallest of cavities. Dentist appropriately asked if I would like to get that cavity filled today, to which I responded, yes, I have the day off. I don't have to worry about going to work with a numb mouth or in pain because I have no meetings. I'm not working. Fully forgetting that I was going to come home and film this video, so if I have a slight lisp or I look funny, I'm talking funny, I feel, I just feel so funny right now. This half of my mouth and tongue too. Half of my tongue is numb. So um, not ideal for a video in which I have a feeling I'll be doing quite some talking. He said it should wear off in about an hour. It, it's been well over an hour and nothing's changed. If anything, I feel like it's gotten more numb. So this will be an adventure. Bear with me. We're gonna persevere through this together. And hopefully this is the only thing that goes wrong today. I've been looking forward to making this cake for like months now, which is funny because I don't have a plan. <laughs> Very on brand for me, not having a plan going into life in general, but specifically baking today. Let me back up. I feel like I could probably do a better introduction. So it's probably in the title, but I am making a birthday cake for my partner, Evan. Today is his 32nd birthday. He's at work right now. We have plans to go out to dinner later and I want to make him a cake. He made some requests for flavors. I'm hoping I'm remembering correctly because I did ask him a few weeks ago after having a couple of drinks. I just remember him saying lemon. We're going with that. Evan, if you said anything else, I'm so sorry. You're getting a lemon vanilla cake of some sort today. I have not made a tiered cake with like decorations and make it really pretty. I mean, I've really only done that once. And that one time was for my sister's baby shower. I'll post the picture right here. And that was well over a year ago now. I don't know, like two Augusts ago, I believe. So it's been a minute. I've made cakes since, but just like a sheet cake or something basic with icing. But today we're not only making a tiered cake with frosting decorations, we're going to attempt to make a cat cake because that is also, that is the one other thing that he did request that I do remember him saying. And now upon getting into this video, I kind of wish I didn't remember him saying a cat cake, but I don't know, we're gonna try, we're gonna find out. Like I said, I do not have much of a plan going into this, but I will tell you what we are doing. So for the cake itself, I'm going to use the recipe from Dessert Person. I'm going to follow the classic birthday cake recipe from Dessert Person. I'm gonna cut that in half. I have, I've made a confetti one. I honestly don't remember if I've made this, but I'm confident that I can. What we're gonna do is cut that in half Instead of making it in cake pans, I think what I'm gonna do is bake it in a half sheet tray. And that way I have a lot of surface area to work with to construct some form of a cat. <laughs> oh, I'm also from Dessert Person going to make lemon curd. This is one of the recipes that's in the back of the book, like foundational recipes. I've made this before, or I've done like the, the lemon lime curd for the like minty lime bars. I think I've made curd for other things in the past. So we're gonna do that. That's gonna go somewhere on the cake, a middle layer, obviously. And then for the frosting itself, which is just going to be vanilla buttercream, I'm going to follow the Swiss buttercream from the King Arthur book. Normally if I'm making frosting, I'm making cream cheese frosting because like, why wouldn't I? Um, but when I asked Evan, he requested a buttercream. So, which is also what my sister requested for her baby shower cake. So obviously I need some type of plan, right? So I did look to Pinterest to get some inspiration for cat cakes. And this is the initial inspiration that I found Found that I was super excited for. Not only that, I was like, oh, with different colors, I can make the face of one of our cats. But I'm wondering now, I don't think I have one of those piping tips. I don't even know what it's called. Okay, yeah, I absolutely do not have one of the piping tips that makes that type of texture. All I have is like the big circle one, this flowery one, the 2C, and then another similar one to this one. So, So for now, I think that's the vision we're going for. And I guess we can still try to make it look like my cat. Insert cat inspo here. Her big debut. Just your debut for being on a cake, not debut to the channel. You cry too much to not be on my channel. So this is our inspiration. We do have two cats. The other one, Willow, she is all black. And as much as I want to make an all black cake, I feel like that will be complicated. And Mindy has such fun facial features. Not that Willow doesn't. I say that as if I feel like she can hear me. I'm gonna offend her. Look at that face. 
Good job, please. We honor Willow all throughout the fall in October because that's her month. So in order to make this as organized as possible, I'm going to get out all the ingredients I need for the cake. We're gonna be baking that first, then we'll get to the lemon curd and the frosting while the cake is cooling. I have this really bad habit of when I'm baking and cooking of not just getting everything I need out and on the counter so it's there for me to easily grab. I just like kind of grab and go Probably because it's, I say this in every single video that I'm like in or around my kitchen. New York City apartments are tiny, hence why I had to get a whole extra island because there's not enough space. So it's probably not a bad thing that I like grab and go with ingredients, but at the same time, I feel like I get overwhelmed, I rush. I want this to be an enjoyable process and I also want to show you what we're using. I was smart and did think ahead at the very least to take out butter and buttermilk. Otherwise, what we need for this recipe is cake flour, I actually don't have cake flour. I don't feel like buying cake flour. I don't make cake flour enough to justify having cake flour. Good old Claire Staffitz, being the wonderful person she is, has a note saying that you can replace some of the flour for cornstarch and it has the same effect. So that's what we'll be doing. We also need baking powder, diamond crystal kosher salt, baking soda, unsalted butter, sugar, a neutral oil, egg yolks, eggs, vanilla, buttermilk, and that's it. And then we'll figure out the baking situation because I'm not quite sure. All right, so off camera just now, I took some time to preheat the oven, grease and line the half sheet tray. I combined all the dry ingredients into one bowl, got the wet ingredients ready to go. I'm gonna bring you all over here so you can be a part of the action. So super quick, I am just whisking together dry ingredients, the flour, the cornstarch, the salt, baking soda, and baking powder. Now we add in one stick of butter. So remember, we're cutting this recipe in half. Normally calls for two, so we are doing one. Come on, all right. Two tablespoons of oil calls for a quarter cup, so we're doing two tablespoons. I feel like I need to vocalize this out loud so I don't mess it up. The sugar, I actually forgot to measure that, so I'm gonna take this off. All right, now we mix this for about four minutes. It's looking light and fluffy, ready to go. Okay, so next thing we're doing is adding in the egg yolks and the full egg and the vanilla. Because the recipe calls for three egg yolks, you can't exactly just half that easily, but Claire gives measurements in grams, so it technically calls for, wait, so it definitely calls for five large egg yolks, which is gonna be about two and a half egg yolks. So I broke up three eggs. I have the whites over on the other counter because I'll need those for uh, the frosting. It's technically supposed to be 80 grams, so I'm gonna measure out 40 grams of these yolks. All right, so that actually used most of it, so I really don't have that much left over. I can always crack more eggs if I need it for the curd. like it's starting to separate a bit. I'm gonna leave it for now because we still have things to add so I'll see how it starts to come together but I think something about the eggs, the oil, and the sugar it is beginning to separate but I think that's okay. But so next thing we're gonna do is go back and forth between adding our dry mixture and our buttermilk until it all comes together. <laughs> our batter. I'm gonna give it a couple folds just make sure all the flour is off the bottom which it looks like it is. It really because I cut the recipe in half it looks like not a lot of batter. I'm wondering if a half sheet tray is too large. I mean it might need to go down just to like a cookie sheet. I don't know this is where things start to get a little sketch a little scary. <laughs> Still can't feel my tongue. From what I can taste of it, which is only with half of my mouth, tastes pretty good. Yeah, I'm just not confident about this. Maybe I should have just made the whole recipe. I was so certain that the whole recipe would be just like way too much cake. New plan, new sheet tray. It's actually, it's not a half sheet tray. It's not a quarter sheet tray. It's something in the middle. Let's um just close our eyes, cross our fingers, pray to whatever it is that you pray to and let's hope it works out and it fits. Good. 
a little spread thin. It's okay if it is a little on the thinner side, so I'm gonna cut it into circular pieces to make at least two layers. Use the rest to construct some form of a cat head. Despite the fact that I'm worried this is fully gonna fail, this is very relaxing. All right, she's going into the oven. So if three circular cake pans are supposed to go in for 30 to 35 minutes, how much does half the recipe on a sheet pan that's not quite half and more than a quarter, how long does that cook? We'll check in in 10 minutes. All right, I'm gonna go stress clean a little bit in preparation for the next step and uh, as a distraction from this whole shit show. I feel like I can breathe. This turned out just fine. It's a little thin towards the edges, but nice and fluffy in the middle. I'm gonna carve it out into a beautiful circle, which will somehow then become a cat face. So I need to let this cool before I do any of that. But slight change of plans. Um, well, not that there were plans to begin with, but birthday boy is en route. So me being the socially awkward person that I am, even with someone who I've been dating for 12 plus years, this video is about to turn into a voiceover. <laughs> I also recognize that this video has the capacity to become very long and I don't want it to do that. So I'm actually just not even gonna film me making the custard or probably the frosting because I anticipate those going according to plan, whereas like making this cake batter and making sure it came out correctly in the sheet tray was an adventure as we saw. So I'm gonna prepare the rest of the ingredients and then we will reconvene when the thing is ready to construct and ready to go. It'll probably be a couple hours before we check in again. And welcome back. It's a few hours later to catch everyone up to speed. I made the lemon curd. It went really well. I'm learning that I really love to make curds and custards. I don't know. It's very satisfying. I also made the Swiss meringue buttercream. That also worked out really well. It took a long time, but as you can see, it turned out silky smooth and was just the kind of texture I needed to get started on frosting the cake. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was stressed while frosting this cake. It's probably better off that I'm doing a voice recording after the fact so I can actually explain in detail what I'm doing. But as you can see, I did cut the cake into two circle layers. So after putting a little frame around the first, I was able to fill it with the lemon curd. I believe I cut this recipe in half and used about most of it so it worked out really, really well. The layers weren't the most even in the world, but the way that I placed them, it actually worked out really nicely. And honestly, just for two people eating one birthday cake, this has been like the perfect size, if not still a little bit too big. So I'm happy with the decisions I made to get to where we are with the cake and the circles and the sheet trays. Oh, it was so stressful. But next, I'm just adding a crumb layer. I'm still not very good at this, but that's why it's a crumb layer. It doesn't need to look good. Just setting the base, setting the foundation for my colors. The one thing that did go kind of wonky throughout this process was that I realized my piping tips didn't work with like the pipe tip adjuster things that I have from Walton, I believe. Whatever. So I ended up having to use a lot of piping bags, which I'm not thrilled about, but I was able to get the effect that I needed. Is the face going to be the cutest thing in the world? No. Obviously the Pinterest picture used like fondant or something like that. I was going with what I had and I honestly can't be mad at the outcome. She is looking a little, a little freaky at this point with these black eyes and big pink nose, but it does come together towards the end. So just trust me, trust the process. So then I figured the next best thing would be to outline Mindy's black spots on her face and fill those in. As you can see, it's not perfect. Um, I do speed it up a little bit just because this did take a little bit of time, but I was also rushing because we were, you know, getting ready to go to a dinner reservation, which we did end up being late for. That's my fault. But with this piping tip, I think it got the effect that I needed. Obviously, it's beginning to look like a cat, but as you can see here, it's just uh, not the best. It wasn't sticking. And again, I think that's because I was rushing. You know, there wasn't a good crumb coat on these ears. But honestly, it didn't need it to look perfect. I'm not a cake maker by trade or anything like that. I like to stick to pastries. So this was a new experience for me. And honestly, I'm just glad that I even got to this point without any big mishaps. 
So then I switched over to the white piping bag and I will say that I did run out of frosting and I wasn't able to fully frost the back of the cake, but I got the front and the sides and the parts that need to be seen by camera. So that worked out really well. And then lastly, I just went back in with the black frosting to make whiskers. Mindy's whiskers are white, but I figured having the contrast of black whiskers on a mostly white cake would be helpful just because it is very one dimensional. But oh my goodness, look at it. It turned out so cute. I am absolutely so pleased with this. I truly thought like I was gonna fail. Something was gonna go wrong and it really didn't. Again, she's not perfect. I don't do this a lot, but I think given the fact that I don't do things like this a lot, I'm really excited with how it turned out. I mean, come on. You can't say that I didn't do a good job. <laughs> Look at the reference picture of Mindy and then also here's some pictures of Evan and I holding her with the cake, which she wasn't too thrilled about, but it makes for a cute picture. And I'm not gonna lie, it kind of absolutely pained me to cut into this cake after putting so many hours of work into it. But at the same time, it was very rewarding to cut through it, pull out the slices, see the outcome, see the layers. It all stayed together. I did throw it in the fridge while we were at dinner. So that helped with that. But all in all, this turned out so well. If you want to watch my other Bake With Me videos, you can click the link down below to see that playlist along with my other videos. I do Plan With Me's Life in New York, What I Eat in a Day is all that you can find in the description. Otherwise, I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you next time.